hey guys and thank you so much for stopping by um, if you are new here my name is Neo and I'm a makeup lover who is here to share some tips and tricks that I learned along my makeup journey that I've learned and that I'm still learning uh, today I will be uh, going a little deeper into my highlight and contour um, I will be telling you why I highlight and contour and uh, also sharing with you the tools and the products that I use to highlight and contour. Let's get into the video. Okay, so um, I went ahead and did my eyes and my foundation already so that we can concentrate on the highlighting and contouring part. Okay, so for my eyes, the shades I used, number one, I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackie Aina palette. And the shades I used for my eyes would be Ginger, Big Wig, and Supreme. And... Um, the the wing liner is my nyx my nyx matte that is what i used for the wing liner for my foundation i went with my Too faced born this way foundation i love it and uh, the shade i chose is coco i prefer my foundation to be a little darker than my natural skin tone and after the highlighting and contouring is done, I feel that everything, you know, comes together and works together. Okay, so let's go into the highlight, highlighting and contouring. So I went into Google to find simpler ways to kind of like explain it to you guys what it means. Okay, so it says that contouring is a makeup technique that uses cosmetics to define enhance and sculpt the structure of the face okay we get that and then it goes on to say contouring is the strategic application of a makeup product that's a shade darker than your natural skin tone such application technique creates shadows and draw areas of your facial structure back a highlighter is a shade lighter than your natural skin tone and is used to bring certain features forward you get it right so okay so let's get right into it I most of the time use my black radiance foundation stick I would go just below the bone right here as you can see I have kind of like a double chin thingamajig going on so I want to hide that area Okay, then for my uh, highlighting, I'm gonna use a Too Faced product as well, Born This Way Multi uh, Multi Use Sculpting Concealer, and this is in the shade Chestnut. For my nose, I use a Black Radiance product. It's a concealer stick. Then it comes to blending out uh, the product on my face. I use both a brush, which is like a, a flat angled brush and I also use a beauty blender. Okay, 
It is a little damp. I'm gonna pinch it. I do not know if I mentioned that for highlight, um, it's best to choose. It's best to choose a shade that is, let's say, a shade lighter than your natural skin tone or two shades lighter. For me, I like my highlight to really pop out, you know? And yeah, I probably went two or three shades lighter, but that's just how I like it. That's how I prefer it. Okay, now I feel that I'm done with my highlight. I am gonna go in with a brush. It's a BH Cosmetics brush, number 137. And with this, it is angled, a little round angled, uh, yeah, brush. With this, I am going to blend out the contour. I start with under here. Okay, I feel that I have, um, I've done enough with my outer face. Then I'm gonna go in and blend out the nose contour. For that, I am gonna go in with another BH Cosmetic brush, number 119. I'm gonna blend out the contour on my nose. Once done with blending the product on my face, I will go in to set it into place using a powder. Now with this Laura Mercier powder, setting powder, I use the shade Translucent. And I am gonna go ahead and set the highlighted areas on my face. Once done with setting all the highlighted areas, I would go in and set the contoured areas. For that, I use the True Complexion Contour Palette by Black Radiance, and I use the Dark Shade. And I go in with a highlighting brush by e.l.f. It's like this, I like using this. After setting the contoured and highlighted areas on your face, now it is time to dust off the excess powder. And for that, I use my Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless uh, Maybelline Powder a Foundation to be flawless with no harsh lines. So for me to solve that problem, I would go in with a brush that I used to put on my foundation and I would go in the areas exactly where I see the hush lines which is between my contour and my highlight. So once that is done, I'm gonna go in with a setting spray. This one is the Dewy Set. 
I um, suffer from dry skin, so most of the products I used are friendly uh, for uh, dry skin. After getting myself wet, I go in with my beauty blender, get a pot that is clean, not the pot that I have been using all the while, and with that, I am just gonna go press in, um, press the setting spray into my skin. After doing that, my highlight is in place, my contour is in place. Now I go in and use blush and a highlighter. For blush, I am so in love with my uh, Black Radiance artisan color baked blush this is how it looks like and wild angle brush I love blush and I always apply too much but yeah this is what I use I use the beauty blender that I've been using the whole time to just go over it and that does mellow it down a little bit done with the blush now to highlight I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills glow sun dip kit and the shade that I choose from here will be bronze which is this one right here after that is done I go in with my beauty blender again over the areas that I have highlighted For my lips, guys, I went in with my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. Um, and the shade is called Vintage. For the inner part of my lips, I went in with my Dose of Colors um, Matte Liquid Lipstick. And the shade is Nude Mood. That's how I got that ombre look on my lips. And yes, this guys is the final look. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys got something out of it. Um, thanks again for stopping by. Subscribe, like, comment down below if you have any questions. And also I would like you to share. If you learned something or got something out of this video, I would uh, like you to share so other people can also hopefully get something out of the video. Till we meet again very soon. Take care. Bye.